I encountered a few Pokemon battles for the sake of it, and the soundtrack disappeared again. So that's great. What a wonderful soundtrack we have here. What is happening over toward this cave? I wonder, I wonder what it could be. Is it a giant Pokemon on the beach, perhaps? Maybe. It turns out, I'm looking over the edge, and I see nothing. Just kidding. Exactly what I just said there. My name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. I have mm, slept okay. I've slept okay. I have some water. I'm ready to rock and roll and continue my journey through Pokemon Scarlet on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so apparently I fell down a cliff and I get saved by a phone. That doesn't normally happen. Uh, but the Houndour are all spooked out. They're like, this rock falling off the side here? How did this happen? Uh, there's no damage to the side of the cliff, by the way. But, hey, Pokemon, what are you? How are you? You're on the cover of the digital version of the game. Look at that sound. Listen to that soundtrack. Mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe we can give it something to help perk it up. Well, I can give it an adventure guide, my cell phone, or a ham and cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese sandwiches are what fuel Pokemon, what fuel tuition, and also Pokemon. Gayuri, Gayuri. Look how sad I look. Aw, take my ham and cheese sandwich. Whatever helps you feel a little bit better. Random Pokemon that looks like it has two wheels on it for whatever reason. Num gum num gum num gum num. Num. Hopefully you're having a good day today. I am going to be excited to play more Pokemon Scarlet. Well, once I get back to where I was before, you know, if you made it to the last part of the last video, you'll know that yes, I did lose three hours worth of progress because audio was all sorts of messed up as I was recording. I don't like starting off the video that way because most of the time, don't be a negative Nancy, all right? Leave it to the very end if you want to include it at all. Just get on with playing the game and enjoying what the game has to offer. But I did want to vent. It was very late at night. So thank you for bearing with me with that. Um, I am having a nice bottle of water. I also have some coffee to help me out. Oh, you're transforming. The power of ham and cheese sandwiches cause you to not not terrestrialize, but you're you're doing a thing. Getting into your ultimate form. Ah. Your battle-ready form, if you will. Okay. Cool. All these Pokemon kind of sound like Shy Guys in a weird way. That's okay. So, uh, by comparison of the last uh, playthrough I did, which was literally yesterday, I changed my hairstyle between the first rendition and uh, what I'm doing right now, looking very pixelated going into the cave. One thing I'm going to try not to do and a lot of people are doing this. I'm going to try my very best to not complain about the graphics the entire time. Um, what, like, you literally just saw Karidon pop in right there, right? This game very desperately needs a patch update with some new things added to tweak the game and make it uh, run substantially better. And that's very apparent, right? I don't want to dwell on it too much. I don't want to harp on it too much, but... Uh, that's just ex like that rock just popped in right there, you know? Uh, that doesn't happen or should not happen in video games. Oi, Brian. Over to here, don't you know? That should not be happening in video games. They should be way more polished than that and not have circumstances where things are popping in or rocks are glitching <laughs> or things like that. So hopefully they're going to release a patch for the game so that way these sort of things don't happen. As far as I know, there isn't a new one. Actually, let me check right now. There is not a new one because it would have prompted me right there if I wanted to update the game, if that were the case, upon entering back in. So uh, right now, we're following Karidon. Um, Well, that was amazing. It was amazing indeed. Now, Houndoom is right there. Oh, okay. Uh, so we got Young Goose. That Houndoom is just chilling, looming in the shadows. Cool. Uh, you're supposed to follow Karide on the entire way through. I believe there's Diglett in this cave as well. I don't know what this green stuff is. It probably is just moss. That's all it probably is. Nothing too crazy here. There's a Diglett, which is spicy. 
There is a new form of Diglett. I'm sorry, a new Pokemon. Like, why can't I? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you know what I mean, man? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, the reason why you can't move that way is because there's a giant invisible wall blocking uh, because of Coridon. So because Coridon is lined up right there, you actually can't move past him. See that? You can't, you can't move past Coridon. So I'm going to try my best not to harp on things like this. I'm going to try my best because I feel like it takes away from the experience of the game. But oh my goodness, is it overwhelmingly apparent that this is just not, not up to snuff. Now, the, the thing is here, Karan and scaring away these Houndour, right? The main thing, uh, when you're dealing with massive games like this, there's a lot of people that work on them, but also a lot of other things that factor in. Like, they have to release this game in time to uh, coordinate with the anime, with the trading card games, with the plush, with the everything. So, Pokemon has unfortunately found itself in a rut where they cannot, re they cannot afford to delay the game because then everything else gets delayed too. And all the people that are like, oh, you got to make a whole bunch of money. Uh, the, the investors, they'll get very mad. So you can't, you can't, can't make the investors mad, as you know. Uh, that's how billion dollar corporations work. Um, I can delay stuff because I'm a, like a one man operation here, but you know, Pokemon company, not so much. So, uh, Hound Houndoom here. It's like, hey, hey, you want to pick a fight with me, little buddy? Hey, what's going on? What's really cool is not that I'm going to be battling this Pokemon right now because uh, Houndoom's level 40. So even if I try, um, Fuecoco is going to be like, Kabunga, no. See ya. And you can't battle this. Um, he's just standing there. So you can encounter level 40 Pokemon in the wild like you have been in Pokemon Legends Arceus as well. Uh, it's a, a little bit of the same formatting, so you can run from them, you can choose to engage them in battle, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can even capture them, or um, even if you successfully beat them, or get whittle their health down, you know? So, that's kind of the game's way of saying, hey, um, this is what, uh, what order you should play the game in, you know? So, um, that's about that, but Karidon, is thankfully defending oh just picking me right up so here's the thing is they, they put so much love and care into all these like little cutscenes here especially with karate and jumping all the way up and you know it's really cool it's kind of like an anthropomorphic uh ancient lizard motorcycle and you know just carrying me like i'm a little plushie like a little bricks o'brien plushie just wandering all around right you know so those are really cool, but that doesn't happen consistently throughout the entire game. So, anyways. Anyways, way to go for a second. I thought you were both goners. Literally just started the game 40 minutes ago. There's not a chance I'm a goner right now. Gotta wait at least nine hours before there's any real stakes in the game. Trust me. That's how these things operate. And then Karadin's like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this. Never mind. Well, what's wrong? Well, Karadin's just like, nope. Actually, you're not supposed to know the name of this Pokemon right now. That's the name of the Pokemon. As it said from, like, the website and literally everywhere else, they tell you, like, hey, this is the name of the Pokemon. So what's interesting is that they haven't shared the legendary Pokemon in the very beginning of the game. I don't think ever. So now you can at least see the Pokemon. And eventually, as you've probably seen from the trailers, you can actually ride the Pokemon. And that is your form of a, a bicycle. Instead of having a motorcycle or running shoes or anything like that, you just have a Koridon that you can ro roam around the entire region with, which is very, very cool. I'll let you teach a Pokemon a move that'll help you battle stronger opponents here. So technical machines can only be used once as you're going through your adventures. You can craft them, as a matter of fact. You'll be learning that. Uh, we'll be learning that in a hot second. But you can do that with all the different recipes that you might have from battling Pokemon. So as you defeat Pokemon, they'll give you, uh, like, supplies. So every time you defeat a Lechon, you'll get a Lechon hair, and etc. onward and onward. So, like, you can get different moves and equip them to different Pokemon using the technical machines. 
Why that little... What? Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, okay. Okay, you look very, very agitated, actually. Uh, I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Shove off. Listen, the attitude you have over here, buddy. Doesn't matter who my mom is. Okay, that's Arnvin. Um, sure. So, the real issue here in the world is what it's a Pokemon are doing here. Um, and that what? Uh, we heard the strange cry. We tried to investigate, but we just couldn't see what was going on. That Pokemon saved them, but it kind of went off stupidly afterward. What? What do you mean stupidly anything? Whatever. Um, cool. Karidon, is that the Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? It's almost like my mom has a deep emotional connection with this Pokemon. It's crazy. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but the uniform, you must be at the Academy too. Karidon isn't the sort of Pokemon that deals with you. It's special. Oh, don't worry about how it's special. I don't have to tell you anything. Because I'm not the chosen one. You are. But you haven't quite discovered that yet. Been feeling all out of sorts. I'm going to use this battle to blast the doldrums away. You know, even after I played this the first time, I still don't know what doldrums are. No clue. Pokemon trainer Arvin sent out Squovit. Is, are, is uh, Kabungus healed? Kabungus? Well, hopefully you're healed. I mean, not that it's really going to matter all that much. I did not encounter nearly any Pokemon off camera at all. So, this should be a pretty swift battle, hopefully. Oh, absolutely will be. You get the burn and doing half the damage here. Squovit, a Pokemon that was from Generation... Uh, uh, last, the last one, 8? I think Gen 8? I'm not quite sure. Again, there's so many Pokemon that happen and exist that, like... You know, you just gotta, you just gotta try your best to remember them all, you know? I like, what, ha why did you focus on Karida over there? That was weird. But, Fuecoco obviously has a place in my heart, regardless of everything that happens. So, I'm good with that. What do you got for me, black screen? All right. <laughs> hey, man. What's going on, man? Meow, meow, man. That was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance to some kid with just some random Pokemon here. But if you really think you can take Karadin off my hands, you'll need this. Karadin's Pokeball, it's a standard looking Pokeball. No special Master Ball or a Karadin themed Pokeball at all. But that's okay. What? Oye, can you not hear me or something? I guess, or Oi. It's not Oye, it's Oi. Right, because this takes place in obviously Pokemon Spain. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, actually, no, I didn't. It's very apparent. You can tell, even just by the uh, uniforms that everybody's wearing, you could tell definitely it's Pokemon Spain. That Armin guy definitely knows more than he's leading on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm going to ring some answers out of him. That's what you think, Nimona. That's not what's going to happen. You're just going to be the person that's hanging around doing whatever. Uh, we have to meet Nimona at the top of the tower over here. Uh, and somehow I was sneaking. So that's cool. Uh, these lighthouse slash tower things, I believe they appear all throughout the game. Uh, semi like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but not really because there's no tablet or Tears of the Kingdom or giant flying islands. So um, a very interesting thing they're doing with these things here. Um, that's where the school is over there. Looks very much so like the city from last time. A very uh, big boisterous city with all sorts of things to do. Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature as far as the eye can see. I can see. Yay. You know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Yes, indeed. I hope so. Welcome to Paldea. Yeah, I have the official welcome to Paldea, even though I haven't said a single word to this woman the entire time I've been talking to her, which is how you know a close friendship has been formed you see that tower in the background by the character maybe you did um that's gonna be something i do as the game goes on i suppose is finding these uh giant tall towers going after whatever's at the top of them i don't really know but now i'm on the poco path which means i can not only encounter our pokemon but also trainers you see these trainers over here hey let's battle so we got a little little donald over here is like i'm gonna challenge you in a pokemon battle and he's gonna be like I'm going to win with my level 2 legend. 
And that's not how it's gonna go. Because he has a Torantula. I like the accents. The Lechon. Lechon. Tarantula. So this is obviously super effective. Now, luckily, no other Pokemon can join on in. You can see them in the background sometimes, which is kind of a cool feature, like as a Psyduck over there, right? But uh, cannot join in and, and gang up against you, pretty much. That's the case. So uh, your Pokemon are strong, huh? I mean, kind of. Not, not really. Kabungus is on his way, for sure. Uh, I should have named him Kabungus 2, but then you would have never seen Kabungus 1. So that'd be a little bit misleading here. We got Azumarill, Psyduck, which are obviously two Water-type Pokemon. Uh, Pro Gamer tip, I will need a Water-type Pokemon if I'm going to pursue the path that I did previously. But that is to be determined, as we say. Is that a Deerling? I snuck up on a Deerling over here. Springtime form. A Pokemon that I haven't, I don't think I've encountered once in battle at all. Using Sand Attack to lower my accuracy. What kind of nonsense is that? Come on now, it's the year 2022. And that's super effective there. Nice. Um, my goal is to showcase all the new Pokemon as much as I possibly can. Um, any of the older Pokemon, I'm not going to necessarily capture. As of right this very second, I am not aiming to get a complete Pokedex with the Shiny Charm. Oh my goodness, this is going to be painful because now <laughs> I'm at the mercy of Deerling with the, with the sand. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Um, I might get the shiny charm eventually. I don't intend on it. I only intend on uh, playing the game, beating the game, and showing as many Pokemon as I possibly can. Now, I don't, I don't know how long the game is. I don't know all the spoilers. I don't know all the leaks. I don't know all the anything. I just know that I'm looking forward to seeing the new Pokemon. The world is leaving a little bit less to be desired. Just the way that things are right now but hopefully things improve as time goes on not only in the game like itself here but also in like reality where they can update the game to to fix some stuff up man maybe spruce it up a little bit an interesting theory i read online from somebody i forget who but they said they made this game almost as if they were banking on a nintendo switch pro to already exist which i kind of get that perspective i kind of i can kind of see that i can see that there's like a lot of a lot more chugging in the frames and stuff uh that i would have liked to have seen which leads me to believe that yes perhaps perhaps there's something to um that theory but even still there's other games like legend of zelda mario odyssey whatever that look awesome and play awesome and the level of care that went into those games is very apparent. So, yeah, uh, just two very different things here. Uh, you can see that you can press R and send out your Pokemon here. So let's say I go over to Lechong and I send that over to there. You'll see that Fuecoco, Kabungus, deals all the damage in one go and defeats the Pokemon without us actually getting into a battle, which is sweet because we reap the rewards of playing against the Pokemon, but not necessarily... Um, battling against it which is really cool over here we have a new pokemon uh not really this is whooper but this is a muddy whooper looking very muddy as you can probably wow it's a one shot deal okay so i guess i'm not capturing that whooper how about this whooper over here um this is a, a paldean form of whooper let's say i go over here there we go so where does fue coco go on a little raft. Aw, look at that. That's cute. I'm almost falling into the water here. So let's try using Ember and not destroying Wooper in one shot. There we go. Okay. Prime position here to... Um, Psyduck just went into the abyss. Okay, cool. Um, this is prime opportunity for capturing. Real quick. Let's do one Pokeball. Um, as you walk around here, also, you're going to find other Pokeballs. You're going to see that there's... Um, you know, all sorts of regular Pokeballs, Great Balls, net, Nest Balls, Heel Ball, whatever. All the different types. So there's uh, Paldean Wooper, a new Pokemon. After losing a territorial struggle, Wooper began living on land. The Pokemon changed over time, developing a poisonous film to protect its body. It's a poison and ground type. Going to keep Wooper in the party for now. I have not seen its evolution, man. I haven't seen it. So, oh, 
You managed to scramble back out of the water. I didn't mean to fall in the water. Uh, I wonder if I actually lose any um, items or anything. Fido, come on. You might be like, Brian, how do you know the name of this Pokemon? I already played the game. <laughs> or I played part of the game, I should say. So here we go. Uh-oh. Kabungus not having a good time here, but there's luckily a Pokemon Center literally right there. Ooh, do I want to go for the Pokeball? Yes. Hopefully. One shot. Buff is just watching along with Psyduck. One, two, three. Bam. Nice. Wonderful. I don't have to have Kabungus accidentally faint on us here. I love my little Kabungus. I don't want to have that happen. Uh, Fido, this Pokemon is smooth and moist to the touch. Yeast in Fido's breath induces fermentation in the Pokemon's vicinity. Inducing fermentation. Uh, no nickname for you. No, you're good. You're good. Um, I don't know if Fido evolves. No idea. So, new Pokemon been registered. Oh, we're already up to like 191 with, um, Deerling there. That's kind of surprising. Los Platos. Here at the, not quite Pokemon, this is a weird Pokemon Center. So here's what I don't like. I don't like, I like, well, I like the idea that it's outside. But I don't like the idea that it's not a practical space. I mean, it kind of is, a little bit. So other locations for these have been out in the middle of nowhere, where you have the Pokemon Center, the Mart, and then there's actually the Technical Machine Machine, which is also not a great name for that thing, but that's whatever. Um... These are typically located middle of nowhere, whatever. But where's the bathroom? Where's the kitchen area? Where's the break room? You know what I mean? Like, there's a little doorway right over inside of this thing, but you're not seeing exactly where it is. Like, where's where do they go to the bathroom? You know? Where do they go in that one little area right there? Like, you got to make these things practical, which is why the Pokemon Center always made sense. It was like a full-on building, you know? It was always stuff to do in the Pokemon Center. It's a big whole big thing. Uh, and that's also where you can go to the Union Room. So, if you want to activate the online functionalities, you can have uh, other people inadvertently join your game, which is cool. Um, I'd like to heal my Pokemon, of course. Um, it's optional for you. I believe there's actually aspects of the game that people can impact when you have the online connectivity. So be careful about that. If you don't want people joining you uh, in your game, then yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, something I didn't show on camera during my first little playthrough here, uh, register your birthday. You can, I don't know, you probably get a little reward or something, but uh, you can't change it after it's done. So my birthday is 01, which is January 23rd. So if you want to wish me a happy birthday, you can. One, two, three, it's easy to remember. You're either thinking it's December 3rd or January 23rd. So it's pretty easy to go about remembering that in of itself. Uh, in terms of anything else around here, it's a pretty basic town. Our desserts will melt your hearts. Delicious ice cream. Ooh. Fizzy pop mango. Knackly salt ice cream. Ooh. See, I don't know what this stuff does. Even from last time, I don't know. This dish is secretly very popular with a sweet and salty sauce. Bringing many repeat customers. Teriyaki ice cream? I don't know about that one. Mango sounds decent. The Fizzy Pop probably has Pop Rocks in it. So that's probably an experimental flavor. Not quite sure how I feel about that one. And I saw this Tauros last time. It's, it's a black Tauros? It allegedly, spoiler alert, has different forms. Tauros doesn't evolve, but it has different Paldian forms. So that'll be very spicy to see eventually i haven't seen them in any capacity at all so that's actually incredibly more spicy as well so the only thing that's left to do is essentially go to the main Ooh, there's ralts over there i got a ralts last time because eventually uh ralts evolves into galade if it is a, a male and a gardevoir if it's a female i think there's a new gardevoir form i think but I do want to get a Ralts in general because eventually the Gallade has um, Focus Swipe, which means if you uh, use that attack on a Pokemon, it gets it down to one health, which is super helpful when you're having uh, to capture Pokemon in the wild. So that's what I want to do. Uh, this Ralts is perfect 
for that situation here. I'm going to try to capture it and see how that goes. Meow, meow. Stay on the Pokeball. One. Can I get a two? Can I get a uh? Can I get a ooh? There we go. <laughs> I got to go to sleep more. All right. The people, the people in the office next door are probably like, what is this guy? What is this guy saying with the one and the two and the whatever? Horns on its head. Those are horns. Uh, provide strong power that enables its people's emotions. Ooh, okay. So all sorts of the feels occurring here with Ralts. Gotcha. Okay. Nah, it's Iggly Buff. Okay. You look so cute. I didn't want to defeat you in battle. Come on now. I guess I'll have to. You're level six. Um, I want to get at least one more trainer battle in. At least one more before I, I go over to the main city. Um, and another aspect, another, another aspect, if you defeat trainers in a given area, you get a certain item from somebody that's located at these Pokemon centers. So let me show you exactly what I mean. No, that's not what I wanted. No, I caught the Iggly buff because why not? You know, if I'm going for a complete Pokedex eventually, I might as well just, it was on low health anyways. Body has a faintly sweet scent and it's bouncy and soft. If it bounces even more, it cannot stop. Very cute. Very cute and cuddly uh, Pokemon indeed. Keep six Pokemon in the party at once. I've been playing these games since before this was programmed over in Japan. Okay, I know how this works. Dang it. Okay, now that I'm set free there, I can actually explore. So I'm not going to go uh, heal up everybody just quite yet. But what's really cool is that if you press the X button, you can heal your Pokemon right from here. So if I press minus, it uses whatever potion or whatever I have on me to heal up my Pokemon if I want to, which is nice. So instead of needing to go and selecting a potion, going back and forth and doing all this, you can just press minus and call it a day, which is great. You can see these trainers that are around here. Now, you don't actually get spotted by the trainers anymore. You have to encounter them manually, which is awesome. So if you don't feel like Get running into Declan, Donald, Tabitha, or Tammy on your pathway, you can just ignore them. And especially if you're like level, there's nothing more annoying when you're level 60 and then a three-year-old walks up to you and says, I want to challenge you in a Pokemon battle. And then pops out an Azumarill at level four. And you're like, kid, listen, I don't want to destroy your Azumarill into like dust. Not that that's what happens, but like, you know, kind of... So, okay. Um, it, it works in a very efficient way that way. So, unfortunately, if you don't know ahead of time and you just ignore all the trainers and whatnot, you're severely underleveled, which is not good. So you're going to want to encounter whatever trainers you see for the most part. Um, you're not going to want to ignore everybody because the trainers are going to give you more XP than the wild Pokemon are for sure. Even if you have the battle animations and everything else, um, it's still going to be very beneficial for you. Now, if you feel like ignoring them sometimes, I agree. Uh, for the sake of these videos, I'll be doing most of the trainer battles on camera, especially if it features a Pokemon we have never seen before or a Pokemon we don't have uh, in the Pokedex. So, um, no, I'll just leave it there. So, uh, moves apparently can be relearned if it wants to be. Uh, the thing about Fue Coco that I noticed from the last time is that he doesn't learn a lot of moves really quickly, man. So probably later in the life of Fue Coco, um, you can see more moves. But for right now, there's not there doesn't end up being all that much uh, in terms of new spicy moves to show off, you know. So when I see these items, I'm going to go and grab them. But other than um, other than these trainers here, you know, there's a lot of wild Pokemon around here, but not a big variety of them. There's like the same five uh, wild Pokemon and you're switching through them all. Uh, and the, it's obviously the first main area, right? But I feel like you don't have a lot of options. So challenging the trainers is going to be your best bet by far. Uh, this is Gulpin. We've seen Gulpin for 45 years. Nothing new over here. Using Pound, using Ember, just back and forth here. So uh, even, even, spoiler alert, when I evolved, Fue Coco into the next Pokemon still didn't learn any new fire moves at all. So maybe technical machines are going to have to be the way uh, for me, at least uh, for a, a little while here. And although technical machines can only be used once, um, you can probably craft them again. Like they're not like a one time forever done crafted thing. You know what I mean? So it'll be it'll be good. 
This thing over here, so I don't know what this is. What is this? It's a... I, I didn't capture this last time. Shrewdle. What if I go attack? Is this going to get it in one destruction? I want to do that. Okay. Acid spray. Yikes. Okay. Is this a water type Pokemon? This one I seriously don't know. I didn't actually capture this last time. So I'm totally going to do that now. Um, it looks like a bug. But like what kind of... It's a poison. Is it a poison? I need a water type. Big time. Like definitively, absolutely need a water type. Are you a water type? Shrewdle has been caught. Good. Uh, this is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. No, poison normal. Usually a mellow Pokemon, it will sink its sharp poison-soaked front teeth into any anger it. Any into any that anger it, causing paralysis in the object of its ire. In the object of its ire. Weird. Okay, so I'm going to add this to the party. I'm uh, going to swap out for... Ooh, Ralts. Yeah, because Ralts is, you know, I know what Ralts evolves into eventually here. So Shrewdle is number 202. So we literally just started the game, but we're already seeing like Pokemon into the 200s. It's kind of crazy, man. As the background flickers into oblivion, which is great. It's awesome. So you see the Pokemon Center up there, uh, like Wooper, Psyduck, Azumarill. Nope, that's not Azumarill. What's it called? I literally defeated one 30 seconds ago. Um, what I might end up doing is walking around here. I don't believe I'm going to find anything super crazy special. Um, if I do, I'll be sure to let you know. Before I get out of here real quick, this guy over here is the guy you're going to want to talk to. Been having some nice battles. I'm the Pokemon League rep. If you defeat four trainers in the area, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. You defeated three. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to defeat one more trainer, actually. Because why not? And I'll show you what the prize is. Chudo fainted. Well, Chudo's a water type. <coughs> I just defeated a Chudo, which is a water type, water type Pokemon. A bite for who? It's not for... Oh, it is for Fuecoco. I didn't use bite before. Bite does 60? Yeah, I don't... He didn't learn bite before. Or did I just ignore it? I might have been ignoring Kabungus. Well, not not new Kabungus. New new Kabungus 2.0. Just looking cool doesn't cut it. Who said you look cool, all right? You're wearing you're wearing overalls like you're uh in New Donk City. What are we doing? You know? So all these Pokemon here, right? Let's say if I send out Kabungus just like this, right? Over to here, go. Goes right to here, defeats this Hopip. Even though it has half the, the health, that's totally fine. Got 17 XP out of that, but if I send Kabungus over here. Gonna go right after uh, this, and then bam, you're done. Um, what also ends up happening is if the Pokemon is stronger than you, it'll eliminate half the health of your Pokemon. So it's pretty intense. Um, let me show you actually what I mean by that. So you, all these Fletchling are obviously getting defeated, right? But Bonsai here is a ground type Pokemon. I would not win this battle easily, which means I get taken down to half health and Kabungus runs away from battle. So. Not every battle is super easy, you know, get through every wild Pokemon just by sending them out and going after them. That's not exactly how it works. So make sure you keep that in mind as you're moving forward. Um, let me show you what this reward is here. I'm a Pokemon League rep. Yep. Okay. Four trainers are here. Uh, and you get Thunder Wave, which is a cool technical machine. And uh, there are challenges in basically every region you can do this for. So what service do you need? I want to get a TM made. So you can see all these different craftable TMs uh, with the resources that you need, like a Whooper Slime, or you need a Chunk Hair and something else. So defeating other Pokemon allows you to get technical machines, which is very, very, very cool. I like this. And I also like how it shows you little previews for all the different moves and stuff. This is sweet over here. I like this. This is a good addition. And in real time, you can see what it, it Pokemon it can go after, right? We can even do Watch. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. All right. I thought it was going to give us a, like a little preview. That would have been cool. Uh, helping hand in door. So collecting the TM gives you the recipe. Okay. So if I'm going to go for this, right? I need Houndour Fangs for Fire Fang. Wow, that has a lot of power. 
So maybe I should try for that. I got to defeat three Houndour. Potentially. I'll see you next time. Bye.